I was appointed to the faculty in uh, July of 1972. That came about because I was sitting in my office in Washington when I was in the Army. The door opened. The chairman of the Duke Department stuck his head in the door and said, want a job? And I said, yes. He closed the door. And I wasn't sure what was happening until a few weeks later. I got a, a little note in the mail saying that I'd been appointed an assistant professor in the Department of Pathology at Duke. I had never heard of pathology when I went to medical school. I was going to be a general practitioner, because at that time, back in the early 60s, late 50s, uh, if you drove around through some of these uh, towns like in, in northern Florida where I was, there'd be big banners stretched across the street, we need a doctor. <laughs> and so I, I, I came to Duke, and then in, in the, back then it was the second year we had pathology, and I was just amazed that I found it so interesting. So uh, that's why I settled on, 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 on pathology, because I found it was something that I was, uh, if you will, psychologically fit for, because you have to look at everything on those slides. So I found that I was well suited for that sort of thing. When I was a uh, resident and fellow, I was working with people who were doing the kidney work, and they had just started doing kidney transplants at Duke. And one of the things that I worked on, in fact, was some way of predicting whether they were going to reject based on their urine cytology. This was in the late 60s. There weren't a lot of sophisticated tests back then. And uh, so we had fun doing that sort of thing. But I suppose the thing that I'm most proud of, which is that uh, one of the benefits of my military service was that somehow I ended up learning all about skeletal muscle. So when I came back to Duke, uh, one of the things I did is establish a skeletal muscle pathology lab. And over the years, that uh, has grown to attract cases from most of the states in the, in the southeast, actually. And so now, actually my uh, short-term job, if, if you will, is mentoring our junior faculty. And uh, the thing is that our, our junior faculty inherit a lot of responsibility. Uh, one of the things that people don't understand about surgical pathology they know about autopsy pathology from watching these TV programs. <laughs> the surgical pathology consists of uh, in looking at biopsies that are taken by dermatologists, surgeons, everyone else, and establishing a diagnosis. The problem is you're expected to be right 100% of the time. So needless to say, one of the ways in which I mentor, if you will, the, the junior faculty is how to stay calm. As a matter of fact, one of them told me my main job is to keep them calm. <laughs> and of course, I give them the, the benefit of some of my experiences through the, through the years in dealing with particular uh, problems. My wife's name is Roxana. We have three daughters and four grandchildren, two boys, two girls. I have some hobbies which I have been unable to do much with in the past several decades. And one of them is, is drawing, which I started to do when I was in the Army. And the other one is building uh, models. I have model ships and model planes. But the hands-on sort of things is what I like to do. And because all of those things are sort of time consuming um, and require you to set aside certain periods of time. I've really not been able to do it during my working career. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And my wife is looking forward to traveling more.